Hey everyone, so today I am doing a collective makeup haul. Um, I've still got a package I'm waiting on from cherryculture.com, but I'll show that in another haul. But I've got some stuff from NZ Sale, I've got some stuff from Red Cherry, um, non Boutique, and just a few other brands as well. So I'm going to start off with the stuff I got off non Boutique. Some of it's a little bit boring. Um, well, depends what you call boring, but most of it was eyelashes. I got some Red Cherry eyelashes. They had like 25% off just the Red Cherry eyelashes. So I got some of the Demi Wispies to try because everyone and their mum raves about these. I also got some regular Wispies. I got three pairs of each, but I'm wearing one pair today. This makeup is the same as my previous Christmas tutorial. I just changed the lip colour, which this lip colour is by Sleek. It's one of their pout, pout paints. Ugh. Do I have a speech impediment or something? I don't know. Anyways, I also got some 523s, some 117s some 118s and some 747 Ums. On non Proud Boutique they now stock some Tarte products so I got one of their blushes to try their Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blushes. This one's in Glisten and I didn't even look up swatches before I bought it and I'm kind of disappointed not in the product, I haven't tried the product yet but just because it's so similar to so many blushes I already own and I probably would have picked one that was a little bit different but I'm excited to try it out and I can see if I like the formula and if I do I'll definitely get some new colours but this one here is called Glisten and it looks really similar to like NARS Orgasm and just things like that. It's the peachy pink colour with gold shimmers in it. It's so pretty but I already have like two colours that look just like this. The packaging is really cute too. I love how it's kind of like the same colour as the actual blush inside. I got two more of my favourite, all time favourite eyeliners and they're just the NYX Studio Black eyeliners and they look like this. They just are totally fantastic, super black and really, like they've got a really fine tip so they're really easy to apply. And then the last thing I got is another Wet n Wild lipstick. I thought I'd add another one to my collection. This colour here, I don't think I have it, it's called Within These Adobe Walls and it's 372S. I'm going to do swatches in this video so yeah, it's just like a pinky brownish colour I guess. It's like not a real nude, it's like a nude pink, beige, brown, I don't know. Next I want to show some things NZ Sales sent me and they sent it to me for free. This is a weird story because you guys know how I always kind of advertise NZ Sale. I buy things off them all the time. Like I swear I must get like three things a week from them. I'll do a quick blurb. It's like a sale website where they have like sales on and then you purchase them the one bad thing like you get some real good deals but the one bad thing is it takes like three to six weeks sometimes to get your things like the quickest my stuff arrived one time it was like a week and a half and I was like what the hell is going on so yeah, it usually takes a long time but I think that's just because they have to get all the stock in that they've put on sale and then they've got to resend it out so it just takes ages for them to sort it out but you get good deals it's like a you know, bittersweet situation. So, I mean, if you don't want to wait for the deal, then don't even bother. But anyways, so yeah, I always buy stuff. I've done hauls on them and stuff like that. And I put my invite link down in the down bar all the time. Basically, I got a phone call from them and they were like, hi, is this Shannon speaking? Blah, blah, blah. We're just ringing to make sure, like, you're not a scam artist. They thought because I got so many people to sign up that I must have been spamming my link or something. Like, you know, being a spammer, scam artist kind of person. <laughs> But I was pretty much like, no, I just make YouTube videos and I just put my link in the down bar because I just like the stuff. And then we're like, oh, okay. But anyways, the person that runs it is really, really nice. And she sent me a gift. And I was like, oh my god. She sent me a Peace, Love and Juicy Couture set, which this would have been one of the sales on the website. And it comes with perfume and shower gel and body lotion. I Instagram this and like... So many people are like, that perfume smells so bad. And to be honest, the first time I smelt it, I was like, wow, that's different. I didn't really know what I thought. I didn't think it smelled bad by all means, but I was kind of like, eh, I don't know if it's really my thing. But I sprayed it on myself and I've actually grown to like it quite a lot, so <laughs> that's a good thing. But yeah, the bottle's so cute and I love Juicy Couture perfumes. Couture Couture and Viva La Juicy are my two favourites. And so now I have this one to add to my collection. Yeah, it's not my favourite one by them, but... It definitely grew on me. It's something different that I don't own. And then they sent me this little handbag thingy, which apparently is a really good brand, but I've never actually heard of it myself, to be honest. 
um, but it is by the brand Longchamp or Longchamp but it just looks like this and it's like a little pink and brown kind of tote bag and it just came with a few pieces of makeup in it. So they sent me this nail polish here which is called Satin Sheets by L'Oreal Paris. I don't know if, I think this one might be a sheer colour because it's just like a really pale milky pink. They sent me this lip gloss, it's like a dark purple which I'll probably try this out in winter or like autumn but it's in the shade 721 and it's by L'Oreal Paris. And then they sent me a L'Oreal Infallible Never Fail powder and this L'Oreal Bare Natural Gentle Mineral Powder. It's got a mirror on the back, it's such cool packaging. Also, I got some new stuff from Australis and I am obsessed with this nail polish. Like, this is the one that I'm wearing on my fingers now. It's called Hashtag Totes Amaze, which is really funny, I think. But yeah, it looks like this. It's like a hot pink and it's so baby. I also got this um, top coat crystal colour and it's got holographic sheets in it and I don't know what it's called. Oh, here we go. Spectacular. And it's just like, yeah, the clear top coat with holographic bits in it. And then I got the Highlights Mineral Face Highlighter by Australis and it's in the shade Gold. I think this is new. They sent this to me, like the PR company. They send out new products and stuff, but I think it's new. It's in like a little pump bottle and I think it's just like a mineral liquid highlighter. Like I suppose you could use it as a primer or just like on your cheekbones or whatever. Also a Color and Jet Mineral Lip Gloss. This one's like a bright orange which is perfect because I'm getting into my oranges now. And it's called Fandango. And then lots of people, when I tweeted a picture of this, lots of people said that they absolutely love these. And it's just their regular black liquid eyeliner, black pencil eyeliner. And I do like their pencil eyeliners a lot, but I've never tried this before. So I'm so excited because you all know I love my eyeliner. If you know of OG, it's Brie or Brie's Boutique. She sent me some jewelry, but I just want to show you. She added in a couple... Um, box blushes which I was just like oh my god like so happy because I got one of these from mine and Sabrina swap and I absolutely love it but I like you cannot get hard candy in New Zealand I can't even open these right now but <laughs> she gave me two of them and this one here is called hot flash fox in a box and I've seen Nicole Guerrero talk about these and she's like my ultimate YouTube crush girl crush and then this one here is in spicy and sweet I'm just so excited to try these out. So thank you so much, Brie, if you're watching. I'm going to put her link to her website down below. But yeah, she's got some cute jewelry. These earrings here I actually buy her. So yeah, I'll put the link down below as I see. And then the last stuff I have here is actually from a company. And I know heaps of people hate. Oh my god, she's going to see free stuff, blah, blah, blah. But I really, really, really ever accept like small companies' products to try out. Because I just find so much of it is just so generic and not very good quality. And... You know what I mean? Like it's all just like blah, whatever. It's like I don't want to use just mainstream crap in my videos and show you guys mainstream crap. I want to show you the good stuff and the unique stuff and like good brands and things like that. But this brand contacted me. I checked out their website as always and their stuff looked so unique. So I was like so keen. And the, none of this is tested on animals or anything like that. But they let me choose out some things and I was really impressed. I'm going to start with the eyeshadows. I got these two here which are like yellows. This one's like a pale yellow and this one's a bright yellow. Bright yellow is called Okie Dokie and then the other one's called Shorebert. And I just got these because I really want to do like a bright yellow and bronze tutorial one day. So I'll be able to use them because I don't have any yellow eyeshadows. And then I also got this one here called Commando which is like a mint green. And then this brown one which is called Planet 426. And it's just like a really nice deep brown colour. I also got one blush and I chose this one because I do not have anything the same colour as this. It's so unique. It's called Solar Flare and it's like neon pink red kind of. Hard to explain but I'll swatch it for you. And then these were what I was most excited about because I'm a total lipstick junkie. You guys know this. And I didn't even know that these were in liquid form. But I'm actually pleasant, pleasantly surprised because you guys know how much I love my OCC lip tars. And I haven't even swatched these yet. I'm going to swatch them on camera first time. Um, but I'm hoping that they're going to be really opaque. I have five of them here, but I picked kind of neutral colours because I thought they were just regular lipsticks, but now I wish I brought some, like, bright colours so I could mix them together, but... Oh well. This one here is called Ukulele. This one here is called Ranunculus. <laughs> this one here is a bit brighter, and this one's called Teacups. It's more of, like, a pinky nude. This one's brighter again, and this one is called Mermaid Kiss. That's such a cute name. And then this last one here, which looks amazing. This is called Beluga. So that's all the makeup I have collected lately. I hope the swatches helped, and I'll talk to you soon. Thumbs up if you like this, and I'll do more. Bye.